De zoute zee slaakt een diepe zilte zucht. Boven het vlakke land trilt stil de warme lucht. Hé, hey, iemand slaat soms onverwacht, maar zeker op de vlucht. Alarmfase 2 is hier nauwelijks nog berucht, maar men weet het niet. En zwijgt van wat men hoort en ziet. Hier aan de kust, de Zeeuwse kust. Waar de mensen onbewust zin in mosselfeesten krijgen. En van eten slechts nog zwijgen. Als ze zat zijn en voldaan. Dan weer rustig slapen gaan. De Zeeuwse kust, waarin ieder onbewust in het Duits wordt aangesproken, waar de ketting is gebroken en alle schepen zijn verbrand, maar er is niets aan de hand. Vlissingen adem zwaar en moedeloos. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome over here, konnichiwa to Japan. We are here at the Twin Ring Motegi. Yes indeed, the second time we've gone to this racetrack last season. It was quite a big, crazy race. And let's see what it's going to be this season. Of course, two races, a sprint race and a main race. Sprint race will be 7.5%, um, which we will be called the Motegi Super Interesu. Which is indeed Japanese for sprint race. And then we got the main race, the Omona Rezu, which will be 15% distance. Meaning that this race will be 20 laps and the main race 39 laps, both single points. So we are over, what is it, race number 16 of the season. So not quite halfway yet, but well, we're getting there. Um, so only a few things we have to go, do, to go through, not a whole lot of news concerning new cars except for uh, this one, Joshua Michaels, he has a new paint scheme and as every year Joshua Michaels is driving a Christmas paint scheme and there you can see it, the Parasite Top 2000 Nismo uh, Nissan GTR, so great looking car and this will be his Christmas scheme. And he will race this car for both the uh, Motegi race and both the Columbia race. They, those races will be before the Christmas break. Um, so that will be before the 20th of December, I, should, I would say. Um, and then the uh, Verdestein All-Star event, we're not sure yet, um, will be after Christmas. So will be somewhere in mid-January, early January. Um, so I'm expecting him then to be back behind the wheel of his normal car, so either the, well, one of the two cars. So, but if he want, still wants to drive that car, that's fine as well. Um, so what are we going to do as, of course, I said the four races uh, which are still coming up at Motegi and Colombia will be before the Christmas break. In the Christmas break, I've already said that a couple of times, we'll have the Christmas specials, which will be Martini Endurance Series Season 2. Even though it will be only with two endurance races, and of course we got the Christmas Royals coming up, the same cars and same drivers as we're going to have in the um, two. One or two, it's go probably going to be two, but it might be one um, of those endurance races. Um, one will be prior to the... Christmas Royals, Christmas Royals of course will start on the first or the second day of Christmas at least that's the plan <laughs> and it will end on the 31st of December like always so um, the Christmas Royals more info and what it is will come later of course I will uh, of course um, say it in the uh, sign up video and then we got two endurance races and one will be prior and one will be after the Royals and the racetracks we're not 100% sure yet, it might be possible that we're going both, well Le Mans is sure, that's one, one racetrack which we're going to do, go to, um, but the other one we're not 100% sure yet, it might be, um, um, it might be the Nordschleife, but it might also be a new track, I will see if I could find a new track which might be fun, so um, we'll see, and that will all be later. Um, something else which I wanted to say is 
I don't know. There was something else. I knew that. Um, oh yeah. So um, of course we got the common deadline. Of course coming up in a couple of weeks. That is so mid January. Um, if people don't comment, remember to comment. So uh, on either the Buffalo Downs two races, these two races, Motavia, the Columbia two race, or the All Star event. If you comment, then you're fine till. Uh, the next comment deadline but if you haven't commented yet there are three drivers currently uh, waiting for a ride uh, first off that is uh, teammate of Harry Hills by the way Harry Hills starting up almost up front again um, there he is right next to the four car Philip Goldberg but um, one of them is teammate of Harry Hills Keith Black for winning the Dascar Red Bull Knockout Series Season 3 and second and third on the list are Henry and Fitzwater, uh, respectively, and um, Paul Athenos. Why those two? Because on the Dask Regional Pro Cup Series, remember the which is a step up series to the Phillips Cup Series organized by John C. Dino. Um, those two drivers, Henry or Zachary Fitzwater, team owner Zachary Fitzwater and Jeffrey Finkai, they have commented on the all, all the first five races of that season um, and therefore they will be getting in the Phillips Cup Series um, in, the, in the common deadline and that's only if there are going to be three of course three or more uh, people who have not commented um, once again it's an order so if only one person doesn't comment then only Keith Black will enter if there are two people who will not comment uh, Keith Black and Henrietta Fitzwater uh, will enter the series and if there are three then all three of them um, so that's it once again a shout out to uh, the Dask Original Pro Cup series and a little bit of an update uh, the Sea Conk race has been uploaded a few days ago because quite a crazy race over there uh, so 13 drives are in there um, I think there are still a couple spots open and I will get John some more I've painted of course a couple of newer cars and if there are pe more people who want to enter, I will um, send those cars to John um, to fill the seat, well, to fill the spot. Only people who are not in the Phillips Cup series are allowed in that series, and it is a step-up series, of course. Um, so let's take a look now at the top ten in points because things have shuffled quite a bit. We got now Troy Kang in the number twenty-three car. He is your polls or your points leader. Um, however, it's only one point in front of Nicole Trenowich. So once again, Nicole Trenowich doing a fantastic job. And Joseph Vanesto is only four points behind the 23. Um, then we got Jane Pinter, and he fell quite a bit back. He's fourth in points. Um, however, he's 23 points behind Troy Kang. Inge Lamoliana is in fifth. It's also a big surprise. Prunes Lil John is currently in sixth. Well, actually, fifth tied with Inge Lamoliana. Philip Goldberg is in 7th, also a big surprise. 8th we got currently Debbie Myers. Ninth is James Shelley, uh, cracking the top 10 again. And Avon Thomas in number 2 is currently in 10th. So a couple of drivers have fallen quite far back, like Bessonese and like Chris Washer. So well, we'll see if they can fight their way back. Of course, these two races are single points, so not that much on the line as we had. Uh, the previous race, the double points winning most summer classic. So, ladies and gentlemen, 42 cars are on the racetrack over here in Japan, and of course, I my Japanese is not that good, but it is the home track for Ray Takeda and Haruka Takeda. So, two Japanese drivers are in the field. Um, last season, this track made its debut. Then we had uh, also a couple of other Japanese drivers like Makoto Iguchi and Saya Sumi. So. We'll see how the Japanese drivers will do at this racetrack. We'll keep a little bit of an eye on them. But of course the battle will be up front because there's a lot of passing for the lead on this racetrack. Which makes it a fantastic track. At least that's what I think. Ladies and gentlemen, the green flag is out. And Philip Goldberg in the number 4 car will lead us to the green. As the 76 car didn't have that great of a or of start. And you can see he's falling back already quite a bit. Allegrek in the 18 car coming down low. As our sicker Ziggo Sports Tigger is back again. Here we are onto the back stretch. Uh, beautiful Japanese landscape. 
course, Japan is a, Japan is a very great country to go to. I've never been there. I really like to go to that, that country once in my lifetime. But currently, coming out of turn number four, Philip Goldberg is the leader, and Anna Gregg. You can see she's putting pressure on him now, closing the gap a bit. And well, the biggest pressure is over here. We got Harry Hills in number 76 car. Luckily, this time he did not get run over um, on lap number two while leading because he wasn't leading at and he got didn't get run over um, Dylan Young in the number 39 car had a great run now at least but now he's falling back a little bit Justin Yee trying to get by and you can see they're going three wide over with Denise Steinauer, Best Niece and James Shelley Ooh, make a little bit close coming out of that last corner and the caution is out and we got Giancarlo Robles in the number 24 car involved in the Lombliana also involved that is fifth in points and also there we see oh, Haruka Takeda in her home race and Nicole Trenton which second in points and we got quite a lot of cars involved in this one well, big crash in turn number two it seems like so well Inge Lombliana this might be devastating for her and indeed it is. And now Giancarlo Robles, same story. So Philip Goldberg, ladies and gentlemen, is your leader. And we got a caution pretty early into this race. A big one in turn number two. Let's take a look at what happens. So Darnell Matthew in number 85 car. He's one of the three new drivers making his debut over here at Motegi. And well, one of the quite a lot of drivers making their debut over here at Motegi. I think at least in the Phillips Cup series, but well, initially contact made I think between the 32 and the 66 that caused Danny or uh, the 85 car uh, to go around Darnell Matthew, and then he taps the 17 car of Nicole Trenowich. Now this is separate from what happened to Inge Lambliana, Giancarlo Robles, and Jane Pinter. And also Ruka Takeda, because let's take a look at what happened over here with those drivers. It seems like Inge Lambliana in the number 01 car, she's gonna get a tap. Oh, was a weird tap. I think she got pushed by the 88 car into the wall, and into the 27, the 8, and the 24. So that's two cars of Jane Pinter involved. That's a tough break. If you see Diane Vasquez drive by in the number 9 car. On the inside, the orange Jägermeister car. But it was a pretty weird incident. I'm not sure if if the 80 car pushed Inge Lambliana. Well, it seems like he did. Yeah. Yeah, he was leaning on her, but... <laughs> well, normally you see a car turn around, but this time it was not the case. So, Dom Caps also in the All-Star race because of winning the Mudstorm Classic. So, well... This time, it was, I don't think this will be a highlight of this season. Let's take a look once again at what happened to Dan Darnell Matthew. And because that was also pretty awkward. There you see the uh, a 23 car, 66. I don't know if there was contact between 66 and 23. But at least, well, the thing is that Darnell Matthew got the worst of it. None of his doing. So that's a tough break for him and well the 17 car same story Nicole Trenowitz just got wiped out and backwards into the wall. Luckily there's a safer barrier but it did is did do quite a lot of damage to those two cars I think. There's see a 17 car spinning around Zachary Fitzward all the way in the back and the Tequila Patron car. Actually I'm not 100% sure how the Japanese look at alcoholic sponsoring but I know that in Abu Dhabi, where the Formula One is this weekend, there's not or um, alcoholic stuff, and also I'm thinking it was also Bahrain, same story. So all those Gulf Coast um, or the Gulf countries, um, cigarettes and alcohol sponsorship is disallowed. So that's why the um, Tequila Patron car in the World Endurance Championship was just the ESR racing team, so extreme, um, what was it, extreme sports racing or something, extreme speed race, ra uh, racing, that is that is what it is. Um, so, I want to get two quick onboards, one of them is just um, with the 23 car, so Troy Kang getting into this, now the question I want, the why I want to go onboard is to check if there was contact made. Well, 
maybe a bit. Oh, goodness, what a great view that was. Really lucky. So, I'm not sure if... <laughs> I'm really not sure if there was counting made. Even better view might be this one. Here we go. Well, at least it was close, so... Yes, 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 yes. Now, also, oh yeah, also look at there. Great wipeout over there for Ingela Mliana. Let's go onward with the 88 car in that case. Uh, that will be Dom Caps. There he, we go. Now, did he make contact with Ingela Mliana? Yes, he did. So, this one will go to Dom Caps, I think. So, that was well quite a big wreck over there. So, there are Jane Pinter in the number 27 car. Also got some damage in this. But he did continue. So I think there were, well, at least two cars are out of the race. I think around six or seven cars with damage at least. So, ladies and gentlemen, Philip Goldberg is your leader and we'll get you to the restart. And we are back again over here. We got the four of Philip Goldberg in the lead. Anna Gregg is in second. Third, we got Harry Hills. Then rookie da um, Dylan Young in fourth. Fifth, we got Justin Yi. In sixth, we got Chris Porsche. Seventh is Ray Taka, so luckily she's having a great race over here in her home country. Eighth, we got the 28th of James Shelley. Ninth, we got the 77 of Denise Steinhauer. And in tenth, or, well, in tenth is the 11 of Bastonese. So, out of the race currently, two drivers, that's Giancarlo Robles and Ingele Lillian. Everybody else is still in this race. Though with damage, there you can see. Four cars at least with damage. And I don't even know where. Well, I think there might be more cars with a little bit of damage, but I'm not 100% sure. Well, we'll see how they can do if they can keep up or not, and if there will be lap traffic or not. Philip Goldberg in the number four car, one of the three Goldbergs, and I gotta say, they have done an astonishing job this season. Already two wins for Robert Goldberg in 22. The four car is 70 points, and yeah. Of course, Ben Goldberg, he's a little bit well enough of a back layer. While his teammates are having a lot of success, he is still hanging around midfield. So, But maybe his time will come. Philip Goldberg in the number 4 car will try to win this race and get in the All-Star race. Here we go, green flag racing again. And Anna Gregg in the 18 car. Yes, she is already in the All-Star race, I believe, though I'm not 100% sure. But she is trying to get another win over here. Look at her, pull to the inside of the four, almost making contact. And coming out of turn number two, Anna Gregg and Philip Goldberg go side by side for the race lead. Now the longer they will be side by side, the bigger the chance is six. The 76 car closes the gap again. And, well, that's exactly what he's done, but Anna Gregg in the 18 car is now your new leader. And there we see some more passing, the 28 car, James Shelley. Uh, Bassanese, two drivers who have done very, very well in the first few races of the season, but then, well, fell back a bit. Um, now trying to work their way up to the front again of the field and also in the championship. As they are side by side racing, Dylan Young going for third place by the 76 of Harry Hills. Successful pass, which will mean Dylan Young is currently in third. There we got a couple of cars still side by side. You can see, still see that Chris Washer is battling there with Bassanese on the outside, which is not really gonna work. Now, 64 car Justin Yi and the 77 Denise Tyner will try to fight their way by. So we skim through the field over here. By the way, 30 car now driven by Elena van Dijk, of course. Damien Spanner with a great second place finish in the Mutsummer Classic. Um, she shot from all the way from 42nd or something in points. She um, even passed Norja Smith. <laughs> That's quite astonishing. She passed Norja Smith. And there's Jane Pinter on pit road. And uh, let's see. Damien Spahn is now currently 39th in points. With 276 points in front of Dylan Young. Still behind two of the polo though. So yeah, part-time schedule you're, means you're going to be in the back of the field. So we see that the 8 and 85 car, they're lagging a little bit behind. But it's not like they're real, real slow. So, the good thing for them. Here we got the back markers. But still, gotta say, everything is staying quite close together. 
which makes it very interesting this race. Um, the 76 car has gone by uh, Dylan Young again, and now James Shelley's is trying to do the same thing. However, instead he's getting passed by Beth Sneeze. So Beth Sneeze is 11th in points, with and she has dropped back quite far, but she is trying to improve again. And she had to break for for some reason. I thought the course may be out, but it was not. 28th car moves by again. So that means James Shelley back to fourth, fifth place it is. And we got a lead change over here as the four car of Philip Goldberg takes over the lead again from Anna Gregg. Now that's interesting. So these two will continue battling for the lead, I think, for the rest of the race. And it is, well, this proves that we can have passing for the race lead at this racetrack, which is, uh, well, pretty much a little bit of a must for the Phillips Cup Series races. Caution is out, and we got two cars involved at least. One of them is D uh, Daniel Voyles in the 81, and the other one is the 04 of Joshua Michaels. So the yellow is out, and the four car of Philip Goldberg will lead us to the green flag, or to the caution flag, I think. There we go. So two cars involved in this one. And there's well, quite a lot of damage to both cars. I'm not 100% sure what happened. I think it might be the same thing as what we saw in caution number one. There is where it happens. Well, pretty obvious. I think this will be a retirement, unfortunately, for the 81 car. It almost looks like that car has some roof damage, but I'm not sure. Well, we'll have to see. Wait to see. For the replays, ladies and gentlemen, Philip Goldberg once again is in the lead, just like caution number one, except for that Anna Gregg led the most laps of the last stint. But Philip Goldberg is now in the lead, and we'll take you to the replays of caution number two. So we are back again. Joshua Michaels in the 04 car, he was involved in this one, and unfortunately, he was the one who caused it. Got into the back of the 81 car, then Daniel Voyles bounces off the wall. And he will get back on the racetrack again and plow into that 04 car. Bang. Pretty hard contact between the two. Now they will go into the wall together. There you see the 04 car lifting off the ground a little bit. There you see the 43 car. I was just about to talk about her. Betty Johnson and Harry Hills, they got had a come together, remember, uh, in the Mud Summer Classic, leading and second place on lap number two. They took each other out and both were out the race. Instead of being first and second, they were 42nd and 41st. So, well, eventually the um, best niece, Apollo, or Beth, Betty Johnson, sorry, Betty Johnson apologized to Harry Hills for uh, causing the crash. And Harry Hills, well, he was a little bit steamed still, but he said that it was fine. They will just move on. So, luckily for those two, well, they will not, there will not be a rivalry between those two. So. Oh, okay. There, once again, contact made the well, was Quite an abrupt turn. It's almost quite a quite a hard hit for the two. So, but luckily, we have a safer barrier. And well, let's go on board with somebody who was right behind him. Why? Because I like that. Let's go on board with the number nine car of Dinah Vasquez in her new BMW. Well, of course, not new, but changed a little bit a couple of races ago there you see contact mates and shooting up the racetrack again and that's game over for I th well at least one of the two I think Joshua Michaels might be able to continue again so ladies and gentlemen your leader currently is Philip Goldberg there he is and we'll take you to the restart We are back again, and surprise, surprise, we're live. And that's something I, which I did not expect. Thing is, we got Philip Goldberg in lead, second Anna Gregg, third we got Harry Hills, fourth Dylan Young, fifth we got James Shelley, sixth we got Beth Sinise, seventh is Chris Washer and Infinity teammate Lena Van Dyke suddenly in eighth, ninth we got the 57 car of Jackson Brown, so both top or two of the three top notch racing cars in the 10. And in 10th is the 2 car of Aiden Thomas, who is pretty much the number 10 guy in the field. Of course, 10th in points, he's racing a whole lot around 10th place. But hey, that's something, that's a way to win championships. Being very consistent is more important than winning a couple of races and then losing or finishing that last in a few other races. But 
oh well. Four car over there with the Kurt Busch paint scheme, of course, Haas, but then the gold version. People said that this might be something like the Formula One car uh, in 2016 of the Haas team. Um, I don't know, I just saw it somewhere, thought it was cool, so that's why this car is painted. Kyle Busch's paint scheme, the, the green M&M's crispy um, Toyota, has also been painted for this series, so the Philips Cup series, which will, it will be available on common deadline number 3 uh, with number 54. And if you remember, by the way, green flag again, if you remember correctly, we have the number 54, Ben Q Dodge. That car number has been changed to 55. So now it's the 54 M&M's Crispy Toyota and the 55 Ben Q Dodge. So neither of the two were used, so no problem. Four car is now pulling away, but indeed we saw that Anagrek got passed by Harry Hills and Anagrek is falling back a little bit. Well, actually not at all. Look at the run she got on the outside. That was a great run. Now Harry Hills is trying to go for the lead over here. He's getting a run on that four car. And he's gonna try to pull to the inside, looking for redemption. And, well, so I can already say that he's doing a lot better than in the um, Mud Summer Classic. Or Mud Winter Classic, I should say. Here's a big battle for fourth place as Lena van Dijk currently in fourth, but Aiden Thomas, Mr. Number 10 man, is now getting around her and he is now not at all number 10 man, but number 5 man. There you also see 28th car is close to gap to Ennegrak. So James Shelley trying to make a move and be still in contention for the win of this race. As we have just two more laps to go, I almost forgot that we have a sprint race over here, so just two more laps. Which will be mean that the time is ticking for the number 76 and well to get by the 4 car. Harry Hills trying to form a move. Harry Hills in the 76 car has already won this season when, I don't know. Um, oh and the 4 car goes around. I was not paying attention but the 4 car goes around. And that is Philip Goldberg's race. Ending over here and did that bring out the caution? Yes, it did. It did, and that has caused Anna Greg in the 18 car cr cross the line. As we have more carnage, I think, over here, more cars going around. We have complete chaos, and that's the 02 car of Prunes Little John, and everybody is stacking up behind her. Oh boy, Prunes Little John still recovering from her injury, and this time she did get cr well in a crash the first crash she had since um, the Zenjoltis races. My goodness, what happened over here? I was not paying attention. I was looking at where the 76 car was, um, where where he won. And it was the fifth race, so that means it was at Michigan, the second, the main race at Michigan. But, well, he's not gonna win this time because it is the 18 car of Anna Greg who is going to come around and win this race coming out of turn number four and Harry Hills in the 76 car we have to take a look because I don't think the four car spun on its own but at least well for Anna Gregg it doesn't matter maybe a big present for her but she's gonna win over here at Motegi the Motegi Super Interesu there you see everybody finishing Though some cars were damaged because there was chaos coming to the white flag. Even under caution. So we're going to take a look at what all happened over here. And there we see oh, some more cars with crazy chaos. Well, that's Joshua Michaels. But, <laughs> well, let's take a look at what all happened over here, ladies and gentlemen. There was a crazy finish to this one. Caution number three. And it was involving the leader... The number four, Philip Goldberg. Let's take a look at the replays. Oh, what a brutal move this was. You already saw it, but I hadn't. But what a brutal move by Harry Hills. Turning around the four car of Philip Goldberg. Look at this. Well, this is quite unacceptable, but... Mm. There you see 76 car gets into the four car and it feels like, well, victory has been robbed by him. Well, from him, last race. And this time he is going to take out Philip Goldberg. That's not the way to do it. And there are contact made with Philip Goldberg and the wall. So 
so on. Philip Goldberg, I think, will be extremely pissed at Harry Hills. And then things eventually went wrong in a couple of moments, which I'm not sure where. Well, I think they just stacked up under caution. Oh, it was already already stuff went wrong over here. Oh, there you see indeed. Okay. So there you see three drivers racing way too close together, and well, North Smith was in the middle in a gap which was not a gap. O2 car eventually goes around them. Then the 77 car of the Nice Steinauer follows and hard hit for Jay Stella and because of that end. Well, the safer barrier starting over there. Also, the Prince Little John spinning around. Now I think that indeed Jay Stella gets collected by a couple of drivers. There she will get hit by the 43 car and by the 59 car. Eventually Kyle Collins also gets into it, Daniel or Darnell Matthew and everybody just starts stacking into this. So complete chaos over here. Wow. Well, we can at least say that we had quite an interesting race over here, with quite some crashes. Not like at um, Buffalo Downs, where we had well, very few crashes in the whole weekend. So, well, very crazy stuff happening over here. Let's take one more look at the number four car, because well, I really want to take another look at this. Philip Goldberg got robbed from a win, got taken out being in the lead and this might be one of well together with Harry Hills of course crashing with best knees might be um, but what the, it might be one of the moves of the season now let's take a look at this there it gets pushed around and just goes around bang into the wall as Philip Goldberg going from first to I don't know what position now we'll stay with him because a crash happens right in front of him again. Well, a couple of crashes actually. There you see smoke again. Well, it's quite a hard hit for that 70 car. And, well, couldn't slow down enough in time. And that's, well, race over a couple of drivers. Of course, the race was already quite over <laughs> because, well, it was the last lap, so. Wow, what a race this was. What an incredible race. Look at this. What a moment. And then Anna Gregg, she got around Harry Hills on the outside. Which resulted her in winning. So she was the lucky third in this game. And now, once again, I want to take a quick look at the... Well, 44 was one of them involved. There you see, oh, they were just too close to get. I'm not sure whose fault it was, but well, at least we can state that there was just no room for all three of these drivers. That was a pretty hard impact. That is what take what took out Prince Lil John, but more importantly, that is what slingshotted Jay Stella in the 70 car back on track again. And there, that happened, and she got collected by a couple of drivers. And soon we had a stack up with 10 cars. And that's quite the story of this race. Anna Greg, she of course is your winner. So going live again. Here we go. Official results of this race. And where did the four car finish in 34th? That's a tough one. Well, what a, mo what a race it was. It seems like leaders are, if you are in the lead, they always say you're the safest in the field. But, well, we know that at Bristol is not the case, but here it is neither, it seems like. And at Buffalo Downs, ne neither. So, anyways, Anna Gregg in the 18 car, she is the winner of this race. So, congratulations to her. 47 points will move to her, which will be quite, where she's, she's 18th in points. So, that will definitely move her up through the fields. We got Harry Hills in the number 76 car. He is second, so great job by him. Although it was quite controversial near the end. James Shelley in the number 28 car is current, well finished in third. So great recovery for him again. Lene van Dijk. I don't know how, but somehow since uh, Damien Spawner joined the team, the team has gone absolutely 
insanely great. And Lena van Dijk finishing in fourth place. That is a great job by her. Um, which I think might be her best, the best result of the season for her. Aiden Thomas in number two car. Solid finish again in fifth place for the top ten contender in points. Leah Walker in six. Seems like these type of race tracks are pretty much her piece of cake. Well, a piece, a piece of cake. I'm not sure if that is English, but well, it is English, but not uh, like whatever. So Leah Walker in sixth. Then we got Chris Washer in the 06 car in seventh. So two Infinities in the top seven. Great job by the teams. Uh, Bethany is in the eleventh car in eighth. Also great recovery for her. Great comeback. And Dylan Young in the 39 car in 90s fell quite far back, surprised. And John Cittadino cracking the top 10 again. He is one of those drivers who is always there near the end. Well, not always, but most sometimes there near the end while he was invisible all race long. So now let's take a look at the top 10 in points pretty quickly. We got Troy Kang in the number 23 car. Where did he finish? In 28th. Not a good finish. But well, the 17 car of Nicole Trenowicz is in 26, so that's a little bit better. And that means that Nicole Trenowicz is going to pass Troy Kang because the difference on track is two points, the difference in points was one point. So that means that Nicole Trenowicz is one point in front of Troy Kang again. However, Joseph Ernesto, where did he finish? In 22nd. And Joseph Ernesto was four points behind Troy Kang. And Three points behind Nicole Trenowicz. Where did he finish? Four points in front. Four spots in front of Nicole Trenowicz. Which I think will result in Joseph Nesto being one point in front of Nicole Trenowicz. Being one point in front of Tro Troy Kang. Very interesting. Jane Pinter was pretty far back. And he's going to be even more back. As he's in 39th. Had to make a lot of pit stops. We saw him sometimes come through the screen on pit roads. Ingele Amliana dead last. Not good for fifth in points. Bruce Littlejohn in 0-2, 35th, not good for 6th in points. Philip Goldberg, almost, I think if he had won this race, he might have been somewhere near the top 2 in points, top 3 in points, maybe even in the points lead, but now, 34th, that's not going to happen. Debbie Myers in the 67 car, where she did see finish in 27, so also not a great result for her. And I think the biggest winners of today, looking at the top 10 in points, are James Shelley 9th and Aiden Thomas 10th in points. With James Shelley being in 3rd and Aiden Thomas being in 5th. But how far were they back? James Shelley was 36 plus 10 is 46 points behind. And Aiden Thomas was 40, 50 points behind. So they're not going to be in the top um, 2 in points. But they are going to be in the top 5 in points I think. So we'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, the full point standings near the end of the race. And we're going to move to the Motegi, Onamarezu, or the main race, which will be 39 laps around this racetrack. And even more crazy than this one. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time with the Dascar Phillips Cup Series Season 8 2015 here on Sport 1. Not Ziggo Sport. Still not used to that. Ah. Uh -huh.